เลกิอลอนะคะฮัลโหลทุกคน how are you doing in this video I will show you how I incorporate the autumn foliage and the leftover flowers in my garden with the wholesale flowers that I got from Jason the reason that I am doing this because I have wedding this weekend And I don't have enough flower in my garden. That's why I have to, you know, buy these wholesale flowers. The reason that I have so many flowers here because I wanna make sure that I pick the best stem for the bridal bouquet. And whatever left over is going to the um, centerpieces and also the bridesmaid. I am going to start with Sedum Autumn Joy, which is the strongest stem, and um, I'm going to mix with the wholesale roses. This is called quicksand, and I have been seeing flowers doing this two roses, so I'm going to copy them. I'm going to put hydrangeas then in the middle. Then this. Oh my God! I broke the dahlia. And the side stem, I am not going to throw it away. I'm gonna save it for the bud vases that I'm going to do later. And as you guys see, I am doing the spiral technique. So I put the stem this way, like on a um, 45 degree angle, and always in the same manner, like this. And I just keep spinning. If you guys know this, I. Intentionally pick seasonal flowers in fall because I love seasonal flowers so much. Although I order flower for wholesale, I can order peony, I can order spring flowers, you know. But I don't pick the spring flowers or summer flowers. I pick fall flowers because it's going to go together with the flower from my garden. And the theme for this wedding is earth tone. However, this is the bridal bouquet. I don't want the bridal bouquet color to blend in with the arrangement with the bridesmaid's bouquet. So I use a lot of pink and pop up orange to make her bouquet is the most outstanding flower arrangement in the wedding. So I pick some stuff from my garden that you know usually other people don't use, like this um, baby breath foliage, you know. You cannot find this from wholesale. I'm gonna keep adding the flowers. I'm gonna try to add something that's gonna weave on here. It's getting so big, so I'm gonna try to stop because I did bridal bouquet once, and. <laughs> I make the bouquet too big, you know. I and it's so heavy, and I feel so bad for the bride. I need some pink. Gonna add like very teeny tiny stem, and then I'm going to stop. I'm gonna give up this spray rose. When I add the very last touch of bouquet, I just kind of, you know, insert. The stem inside the bouquet. Now try to find the stem that come out. Then kind of pull it. Oh, sinews! I have to add sinews. <laughs> I'm gonna add sinews. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, the bride. You r e right, sure? I think I'm done. Yay! And the very last step is. Going to adjust the height of the flowers, so I'm gonna gently kind of pull, you know, the flowers that get barely, or flowers that I feel like I want to show up more. I'm gonna pull it up, and this is going to make the bouquet loose and look more natural because 
in the garden, you never have the flowers that are gonna stay at the same height, you know. There are always like spiky flower that pop up, you know, in the middle of the garden and also some flowers that lay very low in the ground. Last year when I was trying to grow on my Instagram, the guru said I have to be clear on my profile who I am so people know whether or not they should follow me. And I was like, oh my god, what I'm gonna do? Am I a gardener or am I a florist? And I've been came changing back and forth between the two titles. And sometimes I put like content creator and then I change back, you know, I was never clear who I am. And here's is what I put on my Instagram. Crane, grow, cut, arrange, seasonal flowers in suburban cottage home garden in New Jersey, USA. Sell garden bouquets at roadside stand. Anyway, this is what I learned from my friend who is a florist. She said, when create a centerpiece like this, I should make sure that on the side of the arrangement is filled with flowers like this because when people sit on a table, they will look at the arrangement from the side angle, not from the top. So I just want to make sure that I cover the side of the arrangement with flowers like this. like this and the next story i am going to fill in with this spray rose then this quicksand rose carnation queen and lace For little stem like this, I'm going to fill on the side. Fever fill.
Just fit. <laughs> oh, the boutonnieres. Oh my god. <laughs> Regardless of my title, my profile, the bride found me on my Instagram and she wanted me to do her wedding flowers. She is in New York City. She had to manage for someone to drive here and it take them like one and a half hour to pick up the flowers at my house. I am so honored that she really value my work. And I am so happy to be part of this meaningful event of her life. So I guess it doesn't matter whether or not I am a florist, as long as what I am doing bring me joy, bring happiness to other people. And I think what matters to me the most at this moment is that you guys are still here with me at the very end of this video. Regardless of who I am, where I'm from, my nationality, my gender identity, my accent, that means a lot to me. Thank you so much. And I promise you I will continue to make video that is fun and make you feel good when you have a bad day and you turn to my channel, you will feel better. All right, so I gotta go and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. It's getting so big, so I'm gonna try to stop and I will stop adding the big stem. So I'm going to like stop now. I think that's it. Oh, I can't stop adding. I will have to stop. Oh, it's getting heavy. I need one more dahlia though. Oh, Sydney's. Yes. I'm gonna add Sydney's. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, the bride. I'm gonna add more Sydney's, Sydney's, Sydney's.